The original impetus came from a programme that we've been running for a number of years called the Import Substitution Programme, which sounds heavier duty than it is, but basically it's looking at all sorts of areas in which the island can become more self-sufficient. As you know, it's a challenging environment here in some ways, uh, and yet it's an interesting and fertile place where things could and should grow, and people have a whole history here of growing their own fruit and veg. So really we wanted specialists to look at everything from the soil, the climate, um, fruit and veg crops that have been tried here before, and to see what might work for the future. We've been looking at various uh, sites, obviously uh, very prominently in, in, in Stanley, there's Stanley Growers, but we've been going out into camp as well uh, and looking at various sites that have potential for horticultural production, you know, evaluating what we would do uh, to them to make, make them suitable. Uh, a very key issue is, is shelter, obviously the, the strong prevailing westerly wind is, is a very key issue. Um, but if we can address shelter issues, the soils here are very, very good and the climate is quite, quite useful. Uh, there's quite a range of things that could be grown uh, in, 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 in the Falklands. Well, it's quite an acidic soil, um, but actually uh, suitable for a lot of root crops, a lot of brassica crops, things that are being grown already in, in polytunnels, uh, and, and a lot of it would still be under some form of protection like that. Um, but uh, we've been quite astonished actually about the, you know, the range and diversity of what's, what is possible. We've seen people growing uh, fruit trees uh, in, their, in their polyphene tunnels at home and there's no reason why they couldn't, there couldn't be more uh, fruit production like that. You know, we've picked up, there's a massive problem with earwigs which is fairly unique to the Falklands. Uh, they are known as pests el elsewhere but nothing like the scale that we have here. So, and, and one of the things we're actually looking at is what, what we can do to, to, to help address that, that problem. Uh, it's really a, a scoping study at this stage. Uh, it's not, that we're not going to produce all the answers, but it's going to be our, our ana analysis of some of the problems and also the potentials of the situation. What we'll be doing is when we're satisfied that the final report tells us everything that we hope to discover about fruit and veg production in the islands, we will make that available through FID, FIDC more or less to anybody who's interested. We'll also be approaching specific people who've been interviewed and met with the consultants while they were here to provide very specific advice to them. So we'll be both proactive and reactive in that.